All right, what's up everyone? This is Blaze and this video we are going to be talking about pets in Wizard 101 and pet hatching. So recently I was looking through like some comments and stuff and I saw that someone and I I've gotten this question before too, so I just wanted to answer it with a video. Um people have been asking, you know, since I made that video about my pet getting to mega and you know, it's got some pretty good talents. Uh people have been asking how you get a pet with that good of talents. How do you get a um in quotations good pet for wizard 101 so i uh, am going to answer that question by uh, looking at some of the pets i have um i don't think i have any fail pets on me and just gonna look over quick no not really but i have had fail pets uh in the past so we're just gonna quickly look over some of my pets and you know how i think you um can get a better pet and uh, you know what kind of like what i did to uh get there so um we will continue the video in uh, the uh, hatching place. All right, so to start off, basically, you're gonna want a pet that is adult. So my uh, Sir Bo here, who I showed off in my armament video, is an adult pet. So you have to have an adult pet. You have to train it first to teen, then to adult. And uh, each time you train it, it gets a talent. So we will look at Sir Bo's talent. He has the um, extra damage talent and spell proof. So. Uh, Spellproof gets up to 10% extra um, resistance, and then uh, the I don't I think the uh, the damage um, pain giver goes up to six. So that is that. Those are his two talents. The uh, card you see there is um, he came with the card. I think he got that at baby. So that is what the pet. That's the card the pet already gives. So some pets uh, give that, others don't. So. Uh, once you get an adult pet, you're going to want to hatch with another person with an adult pet or higher. So really, you want to look for someone who has talents that you want. So um, just uh, I will quickly show you guys this pet. So what talents I say you want, what talents I think are the best, are going to be uh, the resistance ones, spell proof, and spell deny, which are the 5% and the up to 10%. I'm not sure if you can go higher. You might be able to go like 1% higher than those. But um, those are the two main ones that are good that you know people really look for in, pe in pets. And then uh, number two thing that people look for is going to be healing. So you know healing pets are you know kind of the fad for people. Um, but it, it, there's like tons of different uh, may cast heals that pets can get. So um, the main one, well it used to be the main one was Sprite. Now it seems like it's, it's moved on to Pixie. I don't have Pixie on any of my pets. I've kind of tried to go for it, but I haven't gotten it. And then uh, Unicorn isn't cast, I don't think it's casted as, as much as Sprite for on this pet. It has, I think it has a lower chance, but this pet is Unicorn and Sprite, so he'll just cast those whenever he feels like it, whenever after an attack or something. He will cast, possibly cast that and heal you, so it's, uh, you know, really helpful. And people, you know, especially look for this kind of thing for PvP pets, and people say you need to have a good pet for PvP, so. Um, so the other thing, some of the other heals that you can get... Is going to be may cast healing current, which I haven't seen too much, but it's pretty good. I've seen, uh, of course, the pixie may cast pixie. Those, that one's good. And the two I have, so uh, that's pretty much what people go for on the uh, pet talents. Mine was lucky, and it gave an extra balance card. And I, I'm not sure what it got at mega. It might have. Uh, I can't really remember. I think it was unicorn or something, but um, or sprite. I think I'm pretty sure it's sprite. But uh, mine also came with the Balance Blade card, so that was a good, you know, I was happy with that. <laughs> and I actually use the Balance Blade card a lot, so it's pretty helpful. So, that is my pet. Um, what I did to get this pet was I, I uh, already had a, I think I, uh, what did I even, I think I hatched with my, um, my, uh, what, what was it, Fluffy? I don't have him on me. My Sea Dragon, and I hatched with... A life minotaur and I got the minotaur and then I pretty much got the exact same talents that that minotaur had so that was good so uh, number two thing or an another thing that uh, is helpful to know is that if like say my pet has spell proof and you know spell deny it'll be uh, a lot more likely that you'll get that in the pet in the egg that you get when you hatch with another pet so you know, if you're going for stuff, it's going to be a little more difficult if you don't have those those kind of talents, but the pet you're hatching with does. I mean, there's still a chance, but there's just a lower chance. So, um, that's pretty much, you want to just look for, I, I know a lot of people don't like to hatch with pets that suck, and they're like, oh, you have health gift and, like, some 
some school pet stuff, some school damage that I don't care about. Yeah, people are going to want to hatch with that, but um, I know it's difficult for uh, some people that don't know, like have friends that um, help them get pets, but um, I don't know. I'm sure someone will be um, available to uh, hatch with you. Um, if you're looking for a pet, if you absolutely have no pet and you're looking for one that is decent, I would go with the Enchanted Armament because it does have spell proof, which I got. It has that sword and shield, which could come in handy. I don't know, possibly. And uh, pain giver is also uh, pretty useful. So that would be a good pet to start with. I mean, people would hatch with you uh, with the enchanted armaments. So I wouldn't recommend the harpy. It's not, not that good. So that's pretty much uh, what we're going to look at. Uh, let's go aside quick. And then uh, we'll go over some of the, probably, I would say, the worst part of uh, pet um, hatching and, you know, pet uh, growing through, like, the levels. So, uh, the ultimate that you want, I guess, to get your pet to is going to be Mega. And the only way to do that, unfortunately, is to do pet games. Uh, before I knew of dance game, I used to do the canon game. I was good at it. It wasn't that hard. And I would like get the, mo the max you could get every time, which I think is like five. I would get that every time. But now I just go dance game and... Sometimes I I get so bored of like doing these pet mini games that I just uh, purposely lose and then give my pet the snack, which I have some mega snacks on me, and I don't know I I have 21 pages of snacks, but most of them aren't that good. Uh, here's a here's a mega. The level nines are megas, and I don't think I have any higher than that. But yeah, um, so you're gonna. After you finish the game, after you get your your whatever XP it gives you, which is not that much, you want to feed it a snack. There's mega snacks that are the absolute best. Uh, Fancy yogurt gives 50, which is godly, but all the other ones give a lot less than that. Some, you know, mid-range ones give like 15, which is not that much if you're going for mega, because you have to get like 2,000. I'm pretty sure it's 2,000 to get mega, which is crazy. So, it's difficult. This is the worst thing about pet growing pet hatching and I uh, you know really don't like it at all but uh, it's what you have to do it's what you have to do to level up your pet and then you know sometimes you're gonna level up your pet and not even get the talent you want and then if you get like a, a horrible talent first try and you're like oh I'm done well then you're gonna have to make a new get a new pet after that and hope you don't get that talent so that's why that's why pet hatching and stuff is difficult that's why some people don't like it you know I don't, I don't actually I don't really know any person that actually likes it uh, people like their pets when they're done um, you know, because they're, if they have a good pet, but really the process of getting a good pet is difficult unless you get lucky or unless you have someone that, you know, has a really good pet and you just hatch with them. So, um, I think that's pretty, that pretty much covers it. So hopefully if you are a beginner looking at trying to get into hatching, trying to get a good pet, cause it is, you know, pretty necessary for this game. Hopefully that gives you some insight into um, pet hatching. I would recommend the Enchanted Armament if you have absolutely no pet and you have nothing to start with. It's pretty easy to get from um, Gladiator Big D in his lair in Mount Olympus. So I would recommend going for that. And, you know, hopefully you get some good talents out of that. Uh, pet snacks, you, if, if you buy Mega Snacks, that'll help you a bunch. If you don't, you're going to have to, like, farm. I have a farm of three Magna Peas that I've been kind of keeping up to date and they give a mega snack every elder so yeah um, th that's pretty much all, all you have to do is you know either buy mega snacks or farm farm or something so hope you guys enjoyed the video hope that gave you a lot of information on pet hatching if you didn't know and kind of showed off my pet a little bit and what i did to get mine so um if you guys didn't like the video if it was uh you know helpful for you go ahead and give it a like and i'll see you guys in my next video